You won't believe I just managed that dog's pain and inflammation. So I gave him my locks and Predni and now I think it's gonna be just better. That is a perfect multimodal approach to invite GI perforations. NSAIDs, as we know, block COX-1 and COX-2. This reduces the prostaglandin synthesis, whereas our steroids are going to inhibit phospholipase A. This is going to stop the formation of arachidonic acid itself. So when you combine these two, they make prostaglandin near to zero. Prostaglandin supports the epithelial repair, increases the blood flow, increases the mucus, increases bicarbonates and maintains the tight junctions. And when you remove all these factors, the gastric barrier collapses, making it much more easier for the gastric line to get perforated or ulcerated. Now in this condition, even the normal stomach acid becomes damaging. When the mucosal perfusion drops, two things happen. Ischemia, which leads to mucosal necrosis and no repair mechanism causing deeper erosions. Now this combination leads to a full thickness ulceration followed by perforation and then septic peritonitis. This is why we notice that animal's condition suddenly drops drastically. Prostaglandin also maintain the blood flow especially in cases of dehydration, shock and hypovolemia. So a combination of steroids and NSAIDs puts an animal on the risk of acute kidney injury, reduced GFR and an electrolyte imbalance. This is why dehydrated and sick patients are at a higher risk of this combination's effect. Steroids have a biological half-life, but even after stopping them, the systemic effect continues. This is why a washout period of 3-7 to seven days is recommended before starting any NSAID. So the rule is simple, we never intentionally combine steroids and NSAIDs. But if we are forced to, that is only because the emergency is much more important and needs to be tackled than the risk of ulcers. This is only risk mitigation and not an approval. And this should always be done under supervisor who has an experience in such cases. Share this video with every vet student and let me ask you something. Do you guys know which answer is used for cats? Comment your answers below. See you at next Vets Weather Stay series. Bye.